No explanation? Yep! I just love a good mysterious summit! What's it about? You think it's a surprise party? Hey, why are we ready? Because something could be terribly wrong! Some pony turned bad, another evil creature back for revenge! Don't you think you're being a little paranoid? Why else would the princesses send scrolls in such a hurry? Good point! No better than to make us worry! Plus, I like it when you run so fast! Girls, thank you so much for coming. What's wrong? What can we do? That's just it. Nothing's wrong. Everything's perfect. Did y'all call us down here just to tell us that? With all due respect, Majesties, you might want to save your urgent summons for matters that are a bit more, well, urgent. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is more to it. Equestria is currently enjoying its longest period of harmony in recent years. And it's all thanks to you, Twilight. And your friends, of course. Who? Us? Oh, sure. <laughs> it's about time you noticed. Thank you. Because of your efforts, there's been less and less for us to do. So, after much consideration, my sister and I have decided it is time for us to retire. Huh? Breaking news! The royal princess is retiring. I have so many questions. Who will take over? Who will run Equestria? Will it be someone tall, dark, and handsome? Or will it be the Lord of Chaos? Oh, fine. Go with the obvious choice. <laughs> to a little R&R. &R. Maybe a trip to Silver Shoals. And you want me to take your place? Mm-hmm. With the help of your friends, of course. We can't think of any pony more worthy. Over the years, we've watched you grow. You face task after task, challenge after challenge. Countless adversities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get it. And you've always prevailed. Thank you, but that doesn't mean that I'm... that we're ready to do what you do. Oh, of course you are. I realize this is a lot to take in, but... Nope! Makes perfect sense. We're awesome! <gasps> Does this mean we get all your powers? Ooh, ooh. I call dibs on joy love in every pony's dreams! You can't be ready to step into their horseshoes just like that. Well, if the princesses think it's time to retire, we're not a bad choice. We always have a quest you best interest at heart. That's a fair point, which should be taken into consideration when we have a roundtable discussion. Well, I'm in. Dumplings will all need a complete wardrobe update. And I would love to pick your brain about main maintenance when you have a moment. 
As long as we all have each other, I'm sure we can do it. Yay! Protectors of Equestria on three. One, two... <sighs> if you're all on board, I guess I am too. Protectors of Equestria! It'll be a bit of an adjustment, but I imagine the transfer of power will be a lengthy process, which will be... Actually, we just need a few days to put together a little ceremony. <laughs> a few days? Uh. But that's so soon! Shouldn't there be some sort of training program that lasts weeks, no, months, if not years? Everything you've gone through over the years has been a training program. Okay, but there's got to be a guide or a rule book. Yes, I have it right here. How to rule Equestria by No Pony Make Pretend Smith. The friendship journal you wrote yourselves is a better guide than any we could provide. We have the utmost confidence in you, and we hope you'll have the same in yourself. Oh, I'm absolutely certain she does. I am not confident about this at all. Well, that's what I thought. I was being sarcastic before. What? This is all so predictable. Now's the part where you all tell Little Sparkle here that everything is going to be fine, but she won't believe you. Oh, I don't need to be here for this. It's just, I know I said yes, but then they said in a few days, and there's still so much to figure out. It's all happening so fast. I think I need some. Okay, I'll feel much better. Once you make a plan... Oh, wow. It's like you... Knew you were going to react this way? We did. Classic twilighting. Twilighting? You... you made me a verb? It's not a bad thing. We just know you have a... process. Stage one. You get big news, and you're like, no! But then you pace, and you chart, and you worry. It's okay. You go ahead and twilight, and we'll be here for you. You're all acting so calm, but this is a big deal. What do we do if something big happens and the princesses aren't there to help? Um, if you think about it, they literally almost never help. Huh. And we still always win! Like when Sombra almost took back the Crystal Empire, or when Chrysalis pretended to be Cadence, or when Shira came back and absorbed all the magic, or the other time Crystal tried to take over, or with Cozy Glow in the school! <gasps> Am I missing anything? Pony of Shadows. Starlight when she was evil. Discord when he was evil. Do Flim and Flam count? See, we've almost always done things without the princess's help. Which makes sense now, because it was all just training for you to take over. And it worked. I mean, if you think about it, there hasn't been a single villain that we couldn't defeat. Phew. One day, you'll see. I will defeat Twilight, Sparkle, and her friends. And they will pay for stealing my kingdom. T-Rex! It is Lord t -Rex. And what is it now? I just want to make sure you can see my best friend's rock sculpture from over there. Chrysalis, queen of the changelings. Or at least I will be, when I'm restored to my rightful place. Why did you summon me? What do you want? Ah! Oh, golly. We didn't bring you. I thought you freed us from Tartarus. Tartarus? Whoever pulled you from there must have been some pony very powerful indeed. <laughs> You have returned. Why did you bring us here? He didn't. It was I. 
You may call me Grogar. <gasps> the Grogar? I thought that you were a legend. I've heard of you. Who? I assure you, I am very real. And you have all been brought here as part of my plan to rid Equestria of Twilight Sparkle and her friends once and for all. <laughs> I am so sorry, but the name Grofar? It just doesn't ring any bells. Grogar! Uh -huh. I have been away too long if my name no longer strikes fear into the heart of one so tiny. Perhaps a demonstration of power is in order? Groga is ancient and extremely powerful. The land that would become Equestria was a mere collection of farms and pastures until he declared himself emperor of all he saw. I remember hearing tales of his tyranny when I was young. I have also heard of the first emperor of Equestria, the father of monsters. I gave life to the foulest of creatures and allowed them to run wild, taking what they wanted and destroying the rest. My reign was a glorious, fear-soaked epoch of darkness in Equestria. Ha! Until Gusty the Great rose up and banished you. That fool believed taking my bell would defeat me, but she only weakened me temporarily. Um, T-Rick is really old. No offense, you look great. But if he knew about you when he was young, we have super different ideas about what temporarily means. Silence! I've spent millennia gathering power, biding my time, waiting for the perfect opportunity to seize control of Equestria. And watching all of you, I've seen each of your humiliating defeats at the hooves of six puny ponies. And you know why they've always bested you? Because they cheat. Because they are annoyingly lucky. I'm just a kid, so... It is because they work together. Where one is weak, another is strong, and thus unified, they are a formidable force. But we shall use their own strategy to defeat them. What are you suggesting? I suggest nothing. I demand that you join me, and together Equestria will be ours. I don't do ours. I only do mine. I will take back the Crystal Empire on my own, and I will destroy any pony who gets in my way! Such confidence. Go! Try to take back your kingdom. I shall send you there myself. If you prevail, you may keep it. But when you fail, you will submit to me. And if I refuse this deal? Then I shall return you to the darkness from which you were summoned. Fine, but this is a waste of time, as I will crush those who defy me. I will defeat all who get in my way. I... I advise the rest of you to prepare to work together. Well, working together sounds an awful lot like making friends, so... You two are in luck, because I know all about that! Why? You in here? With the school closed for the summer, I didn't think any pony would be here. So much to do, not enough time. No! I already did that. Wait, no! Nope, I didn't! Oh! Not enough time! Help! She's spiraling! We're at the My Plan Needs a Plan stage of a total Twilight Meltdown! Oh, got it. Twilight? Did I write down eliminate redundant lists on my school of friendship to-do list or my personal to-do list? Twilight! Ah! Starlight! Oh, good, you're here! I need to talk to you. Okay... Hang on, I had talked to Starlight written down on one of these. Just let me find it so I can cross it off. Wow, you are twilighting hard. You say twilighting too? Well, excuse me! But this is the first time I've ever been asked to run a whole kingdom! Uh, you're right, you're right. <laughs> so, what did you want to talk to me about? Ah, 
here it is. I wrote it down. Starlight, you have blossomed into one of the strongest, smartest, most caring ponies I know, and I can't think of any pony better to leave in charge of my castle and the school's friendship, so what do you think? What? You want me to take care of the castle and run the school? Yes? Uh, I can't. I'm not ready! Remember what happened the last time you left me in charge? And now you want me to do it permanently? What if I don't do the right things? <sighs> what if... Starlight, get a hold of yourself. You've risen to every challenge you've ever faced. You can do anything you put your mind to. You've got this. <laughs> and so do you. See what I did there? You just said everything you need to hear. Ha ha ha, nice try. But running a school and running a country are two very different things. Now, if you don't mind, I have 7,432 more things to take care of before I become the new ruler of Equestria! It was a valiant effort. I thought you had her. <gasps> you won't get away with this. Oh, but I already have. <laughs> with the crystal heart now in my possession, there is nothing to stop me from ruling the crystal empire. Kneel before Sombra. Ah, long live the king. Thanks for coming so quickly. Sure thing. But if you're going to be the ruler of Equestria, you may want to work on your penmanship. This looks like it says, Cadence sent an emergency message, Sombra's back, and he's taking over the Crystal Empire. That's exactly what it says. But, but how is that possible? I thought the Crystal Heart had dispelled him into the ether. I have no idea. But he's back, and it's up to us to save the Empire and my family. Shouldn't somebody tell Celestia and Luna? Ooh, good point. One of us should probably loop in the real rulers of Equestria. No. If we're going to run Equestria, we'll need to handle things like this on our own. Oh, Twilight. Could this mean that you finally have the confidence to ascend to the throne like the princesses believe you can? Maybe. Unless you'd consider taking care of Sombra for us? Oh, no, 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 no. You're absolutely right. You learn how to handle these things on your own. Ta-ta! Handling things on our own is all well and good, but last time we defeated Sombra with the Crystal Heart. What if he has it already? How are we going to stop him? <gasps> with the elements of harmony. With those, we can defeat any pony, even Sombra. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. You didn't need the elements the last time you defeated Sombra. And I'm not sure that using them still counts as handling things on your own. My family is in danger. I'm not taking any chances. She's got a point. Ugh, fine. What's his problem? Starlight, can you stay here and take care of the school? I've got you covered. Cute that you think that will do anything. It might not, but they will. Cavalry's here! <laughs> How can I be surprised when I'm waiting to show all of you your greatest fear? Twilight, how to 
disappointing. Equestria was in your care, and you let it be destroyed! You should all surrender! Nothing can defeat your own fears! We didn't need to defeat them. We just needed to face them long enough to distract you! It's cute that you think that'll do anything. You may have won the battle, but I shall win the war! Thanks, Twilight. That was fun! And easy. As magical battles go, that was a cakewalk. Mmm, cakewalk. <laughs> <laughs> we did handle this pretty well. On our own. Does this mean... I still don't feel like I'm 100% ready. But will I ever? Knowing you, nope. I have you guys, and we have the elements. And together, we've never failed. We'll be okay. Once again, Equestria is safe. What should we do to celebrate? I vote for a cakewalk! It is time for us to retire. And you want me to take your place? With the help of your friends, of course. You may call me Rogar. Together, Equestria will be ours. I will take back the Crystal Empire on my own. How are we going to stop him? With the elements of harmony. With those, we can defeat any pony. <laughs>
can't be. But it is. You thought you defeated me, but you led me right to the source of your power. Now that it's destroyed, nothing can stop me. He's right. With the elements gone, I don't know how we can defeat him. Then we'll just have to beat him the old-fashioned way. I will finally rule the Crystal Empire! Wait! With you out of the way, I will rule all of Equestria! No! Oh, yes. And I think I know exactly where I'll start. Don't you dare say it! Your sweet little hometown. You leave Ponyville alone! Or what? Without your elements, it would be so easy to control you. But there's no point. My conquering Ponyville is already your greatest fear. <laughs> no! What do we do? I don't know. The Tree of Harmony grew the elements. It kept the Everfree Forest under control. And now it's gone. Sombra will take over Equestria, and it's all my fault. I knew I wasn't ready to take the princess's place, but I never thought I'd mess up this badly. What are you looking at me for? This is usually when you say something funny to lift our spirits. Sorry, nothing about this is funny to me. <gasps> I'm sorry, I'm trying to be strong, but I just can't bear to think about poor Sweetie Belle under the spell of that monster. Or those sweet little cake twins. Or Spike, or Starlight, or Angel, or any pony forced to do that monster's thing. What the? Twilight, what are you doing? We can't just stay here. I don't have a plan, and I don't know what I'm gonna do once we get out. But we can't just sit here and let Sombra make slaves of every pony we love. Uh, let me help. I'm faster. I like digging. I've been known to get my hooves dirty. Move over, y'all. Normally, I wouldn't dream of digging, but right now, show me the money. <gasps> Apple Bloom! It's me! Look at me, Sugar Cube! Twilight, you gotta free her! Please! Can't. Without the elements, my magic isn't strong enough to stop Sombras. Spike! Spike, where are you going? Starlight? We must lay siege to Canterlot. No! Snap out of it, you two! You're stronger than his magic! Sweetie Belle, please stop! I can't get her to stop! I can't get None it. of us can. We can't reach them. Even if we 
figure out how to defeat Sombra and bring every pony back to Ponyville, if we don't stop the forest, there won't be a Ponyville to come back to! against me. Equestria is mine! <laughs> Come on, everybody! see two ponies in my whole life. No pony is meant to handle this on their own. Star Swirl, the Tree of Harmony, it's... I know. I alerted the princesses as soon as I could. I felt it when it happened. Like part of my essence just ceased to be. I know what you mean. I'm sorry. Don't be. I've more than enough magic in me to keep the Everfree Forest under control. You can do that? The Pillars and I planted the Tree of Harmony. Who do you think kept the forest under control before it did? It will take time, but with the princess's help, I can keep it at bay. Defenseless. Twilight, you must go. Defend Equestria. And we shall contain the forest. At least now we're back to just one problem. Yeah! Aw, every pony's all evilly. Sombra's gonna force us to fight our way through our friends? Not if I can help it! different plan. Twilight? I don't know. I'm not prepared to fight against the citizens of Equestria. I guess that's one more thing I'm not ready to do. Well, we better figure out something quick, because none of them seem to have a problem with it. y'all out as soon as we can. You will I go here? Oh, or here. Or here or there. Isn't what we need anyhow. We need to get inside. But we 
can't just leave them here, all possessed and zombified. What do we do, Twilight? I don't know, but we can't stay here. I'm sorry we couldn't help our friends, but I didn't know what else to do. At least we're inside. Yeah, all we have to do now is defeat King Sombra. <laughs> I... we... Oh my, no elements, no princesses? Seems like you're in a bit of a pickle. Or are you in more of a jam? Hmm. Discord, what are you doing here? Well, I was going to hang these up all over the castle to celebrate your coronation, but apparently it's a bit premature. I'm so glad to see you. We could really use some all-powerful Lord of Chaos help right now. Moi? Oh, I couldn't possibly. Stop, Poodles! Discord, please! Oh, fine. <laughs> Just to be clear, I was really rooting for you to do this on your own and parlay that confidence boost into being the best protectors of Equestria you can be. A little less talking and a little more helping! Oh, thank you, Discord! I don't know what we'd do without you. Okay, King Sombra, time to give up the crown! <laughs> Here to fight the good fight with nothing but your wits? Admirable, but foolish. Well, I guess it's on me to be the MVP today. I was betting on you, and I do hate being wrong. Although, if you think about it, I am your friend, so maybe you win because friendship wins? Although Fluttershy should get most of the credit for that. She's my favorite. can stand against me. I am truly the most powerful creature in Equestria. Discord! We need you. Oh, please wake up. Please wake up. <gasps> Discord! I'm so glad you're okay. We can't beat him without you. You couldn't beat me with him either. <laughs> It would appear that you're on your own. <sighs> I have nothing left to give. That's it then? We're doomed? Of course you are. I can't believe it's taken you this long to realize it. Now, how shall I eliminate all this clutter in my throne room? <laughs> Listen to me. You don't need me. You don't need the princesses, and you certainly don't need the elements. <laughs> Fluttershy, you will always be kind. Applejack, you will always be honest. Rarity, you'll always be generous. <sighs> and Rainbow Dash will be loyal as can be. Pinky will always bring laughter wherever she goes. And Twilight... You are, and always will be, the embodiment of magic. You lost sight of what's in front of you. You're here, together, willing to give everything you've got for Equestria. Nothing and no pony can ever take that away from you. Because that's who you are. <laughs> it's going to take more than a sentimental speech to save you. Discord's right. We've proven time and time again that the real magic is the six of us working together. With these girls by my side, I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of what you can do or how much power you have. You should be. You may knock us down, but we're gonna get back up again. And again. 
long as we're together, we will never stop trying to defeat you. For our friends. For, For our families. For our home. For Equestria. No, this can't be possible. Your magic can't defeat mine. I destroyed the source of your power. You can't destroy our friendship, Sombra. And we keep telling bad guys. But y'all just don't seem to remember. Friendship is magic! If it's not too much trouble, and it's red, and it has one of those little umbrellas, and two cherries. No, no, actually, make it three. And maybe uh, some donuts? I see you've made yourselves at home. Celestia, Luna, I know what you're gonna say. I should have called on you as soon as I knew how dangerous it was. A good leader knows when to ask for help, and I didn't. And because of me, the Tree of Harmony was destroyed. Equestria deserves some pony much better than me as its leader. You're right. Oh? About one thing. A good leader knows when to ask for help. But a great leader has the courage to admit when they've made a mistake. And the strength to make it right. Today you've proven to me beyond any doubt that you will be a great leader. Will be? Luna and I have decided it may have been a bit unfair to thrust this upon you without giving you the time you need to prepare. Oh, thank goodness. I really wasn't ready. Not ready? So Twilight's not taking over? This was all for nothing? I pretended to be very hurt and gave one of the most convincing speeches of my Pretended? Of course, you don't think some would-be king could actually hurt the Lord of Chaos, do you? Anyway, as I was saying, I pretended to be very hurt to convince you that you didn't need anything but yourself to be the incredible leader I know you can be. And now it's not happening? It will, but when she's ready. How can she not be ready? What a waste of a perfectly wonderful speech! Oh, honestly, I don't know why I even bother. Oh, so he could have ended the whole Sombra thing whenever he wanted. But he didn't, because he cares. That's Discord for ya! He sure has a weird way of being supportive. Super odd dude! I heard that! <laughs> <laughs> also, truth be told, Celestia and I had fun today, fighting side by side with Star Swole for our home. It's been years since we've gotten to do what you girls do. You all make it look so easy. Well. We are kind of an awesome team. Every adventure is heart-pounding, but so rewarding. I'm up for anything, as long as it's with all of you. <laughs> Life certainly hasn't been dull since we met. Nowhere else I'd rather be. We are pretty incredible together, and we would do anything for Equestria. I guess I know, when the time comes, as long as we're together, we probably... <clears throat> we definitely got this. Yeah. Now I'll say something nice about centaurs. T-Rex, you say something nice about changelings. And Chrysalis, you say something nice about ponies. Never! Let us hope the three of you will be enough for my plans. And what of King Sombra? Did he succeed? Ha! I'd say he gambled and lost, but at least he can serve as a warning to those who doubt continuing with my plans, unless any of you have doubts. Uh, not I. Nope, I'm good. 
Then we shall join forces and work together to bring Equestria to its knees. <laughs> 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 Hey there, my unicorn friend. Have you heard? About Princess Twilight Sparkle's coronation? Who hasn't? I'm on my way there now. So much baking to do and... No, no. About the Earth Ponies. I know their crops have been underperforming, but... Uh... That's not it. They're hoarding the food for themselves. I heard the mayor of Appaloosa say that if unicorns and pegasi want to eat, they can use their own hooves to dig. How awful! We unicorns have to stick together, right? <laughs> ah, Chrysalis. Another successful field trip, I presume? Spreading distrust among the unicorns and earth ponies is almost too easy. We could take down Twilight and her friends a hundred times, but as long as they have the love of Equestria behind them, they'd crawl back to defeat us. Not anymore. No friendship, no magic. It's so obvious when you think about it. I did my part freaking out the Pegasi. And Grogar's long absence has given me time to prepare the next part of our plan. Grogar's bell. This artifact can steal any creature's magic. It holds that magic until it is released by this spell. Which means all the power inside is ours for the taking. You're drooling on the bell. Let's try the spell before Grogar gets back. I'm sick of waiting for that old goat's master plan. Take my hands. So we can all be part of the spell. Unless you'd prefer I take all the magic myself. Our pact stands. What we do, we do together. Once we defeat the protectors of Equestria, we can claim this land and rule our kingdoms alone once more.
I have returned. Twilight Sparkle's coronation is today, and we are going to ruin it with this artifact. But to succeed, you must work together. Oh, way ahead of you, Grogar. Why didn't you tell me? We're villains, duh. That was unexpected. Wait, Discord was Grogar? Like the whole time. Should we follow him? Without magic, he's no threat. Besides, we have plans. Doesn't she look so adorably regal up there? Our little Twilight, all grown up. Should we tell her that we've cleared out our royal suite so she and Spike can move in? Oh, maybe wait until after the coronation. Twilight doesn't need anything else to worry about today. So, you freaking out yet? About what? Oh, I don't know. It's not every day the princesses that have ruled Equestria for hundreds of moons retire and pass all their responsibilities on to you and your friends. Oh, that. Actually, I'm feeling pretty good. We've all faced so much and come out okay. I know we're up to the challenge of keeping Equestria safe and happy. There's nothing we can't handle together. Which reminds me... Royal advisor? What's that? A new position I created for you. You've been at my side for every step of this journey. Knowing I had you to count on gave me the strength I needed to grow and succeed. I wouldn't be here without you. Thanks, Twilight. You know I'll always be your right hoof dragon. I was hoping you'd say that, because now that my crown's been fitted, we have some royal errands to run. Are you sure this is where Pinky told us to get the blackberries for her special coronation dessert? Maybe they keep their produce in the back? Nope, this is all we got. But I got a special on these taters. Uh, um, no thank you. We'll keep looking. More. Oh, Twilight, darling, you're just in time. Only one more pre-coronation stop. We're picking up the final touch for your après hors d'oeuvre gown. Is that before or after the Royal Marshmallow Eating Contest gown? What? I haven't made one of those! You must tell me when they add these sorts of things. <laughs> it's okay, Rarity. I was just joking. Joking? Day of her coronation? You've come a long way, Twilight. Well, that's odd. They look open. What do you want? Oh, well, this being a thread shop, I... Thought I might buy some? Put the bits in the mail slot. What was that about? You know designers don't like being interrupted when they're on a creative roll. Oh, we thread this exquisite, can you blame them? Weather for the coronation is sunny skies. It was weird though. Not many Pegasi wanted to help me clear the clouds. They were kind of on edge. They're not the only ones. It's the first shift in royal power in over a millennium. Of course every pony is a little jumpy. Change does that. But I'm sure it's not because they're worried about you. How could they be? How many times have you saved their flanks by now? You're right. I'll just have to let every pony know that even with Celestia and Luna gone, we'll make sure things stay the same. Twilight! There you are! You mind telling your friend here that I don't need an official guard wherever I go? Especially if he ain't gonna help carry apples. I appreciate you taking such good care of my friends, but we're fine now. It was the strangest thing. He kept calling me Earth Pony, like I didn't have a name. And watching me like he thought I'd steal the silver. Do not go in that kitchen! You look like you were in a sugar war. For some reason, the bakers are super grouchy with each other. That unicorn chef started throwing dessert at Mrs. Cake! I tried to help, but I got caught in the crossfire! 
tasty, tasty crossfire. Are you sure this is just pre-coronation nerves? Oh, my aching metatarsals. You know, you forget how convenient snap travel is. Wait, did you just walk here? On foot? Yes, actually. And I have a confession to make. You see, I might have made the teeniest boo-boo. All very well-intentioned and noble on my part, of course, Get but... to the point, Discord. Uh, you remember that whole thing with King Sombra? That was slightly my fault, and by slightly, I mean, I brought him back. You did? But why? Well, it seemed like a good idea at the time, which is why I also brought back three other villains who are now on the loose and not really big fans of yours. So, uh, my bad. <gasps> Let me get this straight. You wanted to boost Twilight's confidence, so you brought that Chrysalis, Cozy Glow, and t rex to attack her? Don't forget Sombra. And while you united these three villains, you pretended to be Grogar? Discord, how could you do this to Twilight and us? Look what a great job you did defeating Sombra. All the confidence you gained. Remember the cheering, the hoof bumps? Except it was all a lie. A well-intentioned lie. For all the time you spent with us, you really haven't picked up too much in the way of friendship lessons, huh? You've been setting up challenges for us the whole time, haven't you? None of our successes were actually real. Of course they were. You just had an extremely good-looking safety net. And how was that supposed to help again? I intended to prepare Twilight for anything by orchestrating an epic attack at her coronation. You beastly beast! Don't you know how much this day means to Twilight? And me? I made her dress! Why wait until now for such a horrible plan? You don't take a final exam on your first day of class. Just think, after defeating three baddies, Twilight would have to believe that she's the leader we all know she is. You have made a grave misjudgment, Discord. Do you have anything else you would like to tell us? Would you like the good news? Or the bad news? That wasn't the bad news! All my chaos magic is gone, trapped in Grogar's bell. So what's the good news? Chrysalis, T-Rex, and Cozy Glow now have all of the real Grogar's magic. In what world is that good news? Compared to me losing my powers, anything else is good news. Twilight, Luna, we need to make a plan. Maybe it's not too late to stop this disaster from happening. I... I need some time to think first. Well, there isn't any time. Look what I overheard them saying. Oh, just listen to my voice and use your imagination. Let the fool go. Without magic, he's no threat. Besides, we have plans. Lame Six are so busy being perfect, they haven't even noticed what we've been up to. Have I mentioned how great revenge is? Oh, I hope you got a name picked out for your future kingdom, because it's time to destroy Equestria. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably on their way to attack Canterlot right now! Then we'll stop them! How? Stopping Sombra by himself was hard enough, and that was with Lord of Chaos training wheels. Twilight, it doesn't matter if Discord set up your successes or not. We believe in you, and always have. Lean on your strengths to counter your weaknesses. My strengths? Right, Spike! Send a letter to Star Swirl. Tell him we need the pillars to guard the borders of Canterlot. If the villains are coming for a fight, we'll have one waiting for them. With Chrysalis on the loose, she'll go after Starlight. Worn Cadence and Shining Armor, they're our final line of defense if we fail. The ultimate battle for the fate of Equestria is coming! We're not going anywhere until you two stop arguing! Chrysalis, say something nice about T-Rex. No, oh, he's red. T-Rex? She's uh, not as annoying as I expected. Good! Now we were talking about Grogar's Bell. 
We should take the magic inside it. You know how powerful Discord was. That much chaos magic in our veins? But taking it all would be madness. It's impossible for any other creature to control. I guess if you need a guinea pig to find out if any pony can use chaos magic, I'll volunteer. Chaos magic is a good idea. Leave it in the bell. We've got a kingdom to conquer. So, where should we strike first? <laughs> Everywhere. We've faced enemies of Equestria before, and we've always succeeded. That wouldn't be possible without all of you. You're welcome. Dude, read the room. So I ask for your help again today, in what is our biggest battle yet. All of Equestria is at stake, and I can't do this alone, but I'm not afraid. Because with friendship as our armor and teamwork as our power, no pony can ever bring us down. Oh, come on! Where'd you get that? A daily affirmations calendar? Yes. Cozy Glow? You're about to wipe the floor with you! <laughs> <gasps> It's true! Alicorns really do have more fun! Spread out and stay ready, friends. Canterlot depends on us. to fight! I have to go. You got this? No pony does a great and powerful escape like Trixie. Ah, just the head mare I want to see. You didn't make an appointment. <laughs> what is this place? Somewhere you can't hurt any pony. Wrong. I can hurt you! Stay still so I can blast you! Oh yeah, real motivating! <laughs> You'll pay for that! Put it on my tab! to take my revenge on you. Uh, 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 
<laughs> Stand down, Cozy Glow. Gee, I guess I could, but... I'm having too much fun! <laughs> Ready, sister? Wait, what are you... <laughs> With you magic types, you're so reliant on all your special power, you forget to use your brains! Keep telling yourself that, now! Whoa! Surprise attack! <laughs> Fly, my pretties! Your pathetic shield can stop us. <laughs> the pillars have been defeated. Your school is abandoned. Face it, Twilight. You've lost. You can attack us, and we may fall. But Equestria will still stand, united in friendship. And we won't stop until we defeat you, no matter how many ponies you take down. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you all notice something was wrong in Equestria? We've been busy. A whisper here, a rumor there. Destroy some crops, cause some damage. Turn pony against pony. Until your whole kingdom is on edge, waiting for just one tiny thing to push them over the brink. There's no Becca friends or rainbow magic to save you now. Golly, I think it's time for some redecorating. What's stronger than friendship, Twilight? Fear! Because when you have to protect yourself, you don't have time for any pony else. Too bad you never taught that in school. Not every day the princesses pass all their responsibilities on to you and your friends. You wanted to boost Twilight's confidence, so you brought that Chrysalis, Cozy Glow, and T-Rex to attack her? Discord was Grogar? You've been setting up challenges for us the whole time, haven't you? My bad. The ultimate battle for the fate of Equestria is coming. We'll hold them till you get back. Why, you fool?
你分。Cozy. Destruction is so permanent. We need to show the rest of Equestria that we've broken their heroes first. Besides, we should have fun with our guests. No! We should hunt down Twilight Sparkle. As long as she's out there, she's dangerous. Is that big, strong Minotaur that scared of one little pony? Relax. It's not like her friends are going anywhere. The fools brought the remains of my throne to Canterlot to protect themselves. <laughs> Those shards block their magic. Careful, too close and the shards cancel even our powers. But on this side of the cavern, we're the most powerful beings in Equestria. Thanks to Grogar's bell. Isn't that right, Grogar? What are you doing? You saw what happened when you tried to take Discord's chaos magic. Yeah, but there's Alicorn Princess magic in there now, too. Uh, I could be so much more powerful if I just could what have What do you mean, you could be? Um, hello? I'm the best one out of all of us. Nobody sees me. What are you talking about? The best at what? This is really bad. We gotta find Twilight. She's probably already figured out some way to defeat those monsters. Any idea how we get out of here to do that? Too sticky. There's no way any pony could get through this. I'm so sorry. It made so much sense in my head. Twilight defeats her worst enemies and is filled with confidence. I truly did have the best intentions. I swear I'll make it up to you. That's gonna need to be a pretty epic makeup. Stay away from the bell, you pest! None of us can use the Alicorn's magic until we figure out how to handle that fool's ridiculous chaos magic! I could always tell you how. It would give you power over all reality, but you'd have to ask nicely and spare my friends. No, Discord! This isn't the way to help! Discord, could you please? Threats are more my speed. Speak! He's lying. He won't tell us. I certainly won't tell you after the way you lied to me last time we teamed up, you muscle-bound cretin. This cretin could destroy you before you blink, so choose your words carefully. You're right. Cretin is too polite. How about pathetic centaur, who uses magic to compensate for the fact that deep down, he's afraid he'll never be enough to please dear old dad, King Vora? <laughs> you missed! Did he, though? Get her! Get Twilight! No way! She's always needed you guys! Twilight. We may not have our magic, but we aren't completely helpless. We'll hold them off as long as we can. That was a pretty epic makeup. Just save Equestria and keep Fluttershy safe. Why are you out in the open? Hide! Where is every pony? The unicorns have been gathering in Celestia's School of Magic ever since the attack. That's where I was headed when I saw you. What about the Earth Ponies in Pegasi? It's every pony for themselves. That ain't right. 
Well, you can all stand out here and debate. I'm going where I'm safe. Chrysalis was telling the truth. They really have turned ponies against each other. Every pony's scared, that's all. We just need to get to Ponyville and find Twilight pronto. She'll know how to set things right. Please, stay calm! I know it seems bad, but there's no need to panic! Give us one good reason not to! I want to ride a Because Ponyville's own heroes of Equestria are here to save us! Where'd all these ponies come from? Earth ponies been pouring in, looking for somewhere safe. We don't have unicorn magic to protect us. We're a city in the sky to hide it like those cowardly Pegasi. <gasps> cowardly? They're blocking Cloudsdale. Said they didn't want any grounded ponies up in their business. Listen up, buddy. Don't. That's exactly what Chrysalis and the others want. More fighting. We know you're scared. We're here to help. Oh, you better fix this! Yeah! yeah. Twilight's probably as worried as every pony else and trying to find somewhere safe. That's why I was sure she'd be waiting for us in Ponyville. Where else could she be? I know where Twilight is! Oh, thanks, Celestia. You're all all right. She's upstairs. It's not good. You're here? I was so worried. Where are the princesses? They put up a crazy fight so we could escape the fighting! Mission accomplished! Now let's save the Christmas! Yeah! They made a terrible mistake. You all did. From the second I got away, I've been searching every book, scroll, and spell for a way to rescue you and stop Chrysalis, T-Rex, and Cozy, but I haven't found anything. I failed. You'll come up with something. We can't save Equestria without you! You all escaped without my help. You didn't need me then, so why would any pony need me now? We know things look bad, but we've been in tough spots before, and we all always... around. Nothing we've ever done has mattered. Sombra, return to destroy the Tree of Harmony. Chrysalis, T-Rex, Cozy Glow, returned and more powerful than ever. The School of Friendship, shut down. Every pony in Equestria is so blinded by fear they can't remember what friendship is. Nothing we do makes any difference. But we're still free and together. And it's not like things could get any worse. <laughs> Haven't we learned never to say that by now? <laughs> the Wendigos! That's just a heartwarming Eve story. Creatures made of wind that spread cold and misery across the land to punish ponies? Seems pretty real to me! Let the Pegasi deal with this. There's nothing we can do except hide. <laughs> That's enchanted wind! We can't control it. And we can't rely on those snooty unicorns for any help. Build up the cloud bank! We'll try to block it! What about every pony down below? They're on their own. We all are. Fortify the shields around the School of Magic. We need to protect ourselves. It's all we can do. We have to do something! I've already done enough. You want the truth, Twilight? Bad things happen. No matter what you do, there's never gonna be a time when everything's perfect. But that don't mean you quit trying. What if I make things worse? Ever since Celestia told me I was taking over, I've been gaining confidence. Then I find out it's all a lie. Equestria's been falling apart around us and I didn't even notice. What kind of princess does that make me? I'm scared. I probably knew more about being scared than any pony. But thanks to all of you, I've learned I'm always less scared when I'm with my friends. If we're facing impossible odds, we're facing them together! It's what we always do, darling. But we're on our own, and we have no idea what to do. That's true pretty much every time something terrible is about to happen. We don't have the elements of harmony anymore. How can you all be so calm about this? Because, even if you don't believe you can do this, we do. We believe in you. In us. 
The truth is, all our lives wouldn't be the same if we hadn't met. We're better off because of our friendship with you. So when you say you haven't made a difference, that's just not true. You've made a big difference to us. Thank you. Sometimes even the princess of friendship needs a reminder that there's more to the magic of friendship than rainbow lasers. Although, that part is pretty cool. We still need a plan. That sounds like the pony I used to full sit for. Count us in. No, you need to stay here and protect Flory Heart. If we don't, if things don't work out, she's Equestria's last hope. Okay, three of our worst villains have taken over. Powered up by ancient magic. Every pony in Equestria is so scared and divided that the Windigos are circling. And it's up to us to fix it all. What are we gonna do, Twilight? The same thing we do every time, Pinky. Try to save the world. Every prisoner is safely in their cells. Now we can hunt down the rest of the... Windigos? I'm not hunting any pony d d d d down in this weather. Can't we magically get rid of them and w w warm things up? I don't think we should. This could work out quite well for me. You mean us? The harsh weather is the final blow to break the ponies' spirits. Once Equestria is a frozen wasteland, we'll use our magic to destroy those windy beasts. Ponies will be so grateful they'll do whatever I want. The Windigos are ancient magic. It would be unwise to leave them unchecked. Best we deal with them now. We probably should deal with Twilight and her friends before anything else. I thought it was too cold for you to hunt any pony down. We don't need to. They're right there! You think they know we're here? I'd say they have an idea. Discord Celestia and Luna's magic inside. If they use it against us, Discord's magic is so chaotic, he's the only one who can use it. You just can't accept that you were beaten before you even realized there was a fight, can you? You can't beat us if we never give up. As long as I have my friends by my side, I'll put my faith in friends. Uh, can we get on with this, please? We need to get that bell and get Discord and the princesses their magic back. Rainbow Dash, Pinky, you're with me. Sweet! I'll grab that bell in ten seconds! No, we're the distraction. They're gonna get the bell. Come out, come out, wherever you are! There! Dragon's wings get plucked. Ah! Please, don't hurt him. Don't worry about me. Just say no. Ah! Turns out that the magic of friendship is your biggest weakness. A fitting end to your pathetic story. No matter what, we face it together. What happened? Can I open my eyes? You sure can! Way to go, Twilight! It's not me! Don't let them escape! Which one? Changelings won't fool them forever. <laughs> 
Unicorn Shield will hold. I don't understand. How are you all here? That's kinda our fault. You know those long lectures about friendship you gave at school? <laughs> We all know the story of Hearts Warming Eve. We can defeat the Wendigos together! You really think if we all sing a couple songs, everything will be fine? It's not just singing that saved the founders of Equestria. It's what it represented. Earth ponies, unicorns, and Pegasi becoming friends. We learned at Twilight School that friendship is the most powerful magic there is. Focusing on our differences keeps us divided. Villains and creatures like the Wendigos use that division against us. Yaks strong, ponies strong, but yaks and ponies stronger together. Yaks must be loyal to pony friends. I know helping other creatures by being kind and generous sounds lame, but I've seen how powerful it can be. Playing together, singing together, even laughing together. That's what real heroes look like. Were we really happy by ourselves at the bottom of the ocean? Be honest! It's the ponies that showed us a better way! They've taught us how powerful love and the magic of friendship truly is! We can't let them stand alone! We're their friends! They need us! How about that? It's just like you said the day we opened that school. The more creatures who know about friendship, the safer we'll be. We told you you had it all figured out! I almost lost my way. But every creature here has reminded me of the true power of friendship. There will always be darkness in the world, but there will also always be those who find the light. The pillars knew this. That's why they created the elements of harmony. The elements showed me and my friends how strong our friendship could be. Together we work to bring harmony to Equestria. But there will always be more to do, which is why we teach others about the magic of friendship. Others who will continue our mission after we are gone. Now I truly understand. The elements were just symbols. The real magic has always been right here. And the more who understand how powerful friendship is, the stronger we will all be. Together. will save you. We will always return. Nothing will ever stop you. Chocolate ring? Don't look at me. Pinky, you took Discord's magic from the bell? How do you feel? Hmm, tingly, itchy, also like... I can transform the cosmos to everything is made of icing! Perhaps maybe I should... Later, there's some chaos in my zoo. <laughs> is a punishment worthy of all you've done. You know how well I can do it. I can do it. Oh, that does seem fitting. May I help, please? Together forever. I can't think of anything that they would want less. When I sent you to Podyville, I had high hopes. When you became Princess of Friendship, I knew I made the right choice. But nothing could prepare me for how proud I am right now. Equestria is definitely in the right hooves. You are ready. You know what? I think I am. 
Thank goodness. A first question, Your Highness. What do we do with all these creatures? We're gonna need a lot more chairs for the coronation. Actually, as ruler of Equestria, I'd like to postpone the coronation for a while. At least until the castle's rebuilt. Besides, there's something we need to do first. Mm, host apocalyptic donuts. Interesting choice. I know, but there's gonna be plenty of time for all the challenges and struggles and adventures to come. For now, I just wanna spend a quiet moment with the six best friends I've ever had. Well, mostly quiet. It's like the end of an era. Or the beginning of an even more awesome era. All I know is whatever comes next is going to be perfect. How do you know that? With you guys by my side, how could it not? <laughs> <laughs> I got here as soon as I could, but Friendship Ambassador is a full-time job these days. Making peace between Abyssinians and the Diamond Dogs has not been easy. That's why I picked you for the job. But I'm glad you could come. So, what's the emergency? Ever since I took over Celestia's school, my focus has been on teaching magic. But now it seems my top student has missed the most important lesson of all. What do you mean? Let's just say it'll be good to have my royal advisor and friendship ambassador by my side. Your Majesty, she's here. Send her in, Gallus. Your Majesty. Luster, I may be the rule of Equestria, but I'm still just your teacher. And you've been wonderful. I've enjoyed every moment at the School of Magic, but I'm just not sure it's the right place for me. I see. And it's not work. I could spend weeks in the library doing research. It's just that there's a lot of focus on making friends. If that's your problem, you've come to the right place. But that's just it. I don't want to make friends. What? <clears throat> so you'd rather leave the School of Magic than make friends? I was hoping to set up an independent course of study. I want to accomplish as much as you have someday. It'll be hard to do that without friends. I'm not so sure. Friendship looks like more of a distraction than anything else, and ultimately, a waste of time. What? I know you and your friends accomplished a lot together, but that was so long ago, and as far as I can see, you rule by yourself now. Uh, hello, royal advisor right here. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. In fact, I think it's better. Plus, if friendships ultimately fade, why even make them in the first place? You know what, Luster Dawn? You're right. What?!
friendship is more trouble than it's worth? This is your top student? Friendships take work, and there's no guarantee they'll last. They can be complicated, they can be messy, and they never go the way you plan. Friendship is a hard thing to navigate. I remember the first time I realized it might not last forever. Twilight? Uh, I'm pretty sure that's everything. I'm just doing a final check, Spike. But we did a final check of every room. Twice. Aha! See? An issue of Power Ponies. Now aren't you glad we triple checked? Thanks, but I already read this one. I don't need to take it to Canalot. No, no, no. You love Power Ponies. We're taking it. Really, Twilight? We don't have to bring the comic. I'm not even sure how much longer I'll collect it. A lot is changing, and I am getting older. Just because things change doesn't mean you leave everything you love behind. Oh. You're not still worried about ruling Equestria, are you? No. I know it took some time, but I've never been more ready for anything in my life. Just because I'm ready to sit on the throne in Canterlot doesn't mean I'm ready to leave Ponyville. When we were all fighting to save Equestria from T-Rex, Chrysalis, and Cozy Glow, I, I was too busy to think about it. But now it's all happening at once. What is? The coronation, moving, leaving our friends. I thought we'd all be ruling Equestria together. Of course we will, but it won't be the same. They all have lives here. We're moving away and they're not, and I can't help but feel like we're leaving them behind. What if we all just drift apart? I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. Maybe you should talk to them. I bet they're feeling the same way. You're right, Spike. Thanks. Sometimes talking to a good friend is all it takes. So, you're not worried about how things might change with me living in Canterlot? Of course not! Change is natural, like the seasons. That's just life on the farm. I guess so. Anywho, I really need to get all these boxes packed and sorted. There's a lot more work now that the folks beyond Equestria are coming to the coronation, too. Worried? <laughs> no way! Unless you're talking about the coronation, because then, yes. Obviously, the cakes are handled, but there's the whole rest of the party to stay on top of. Honestly, I'm not convinced Gummy really took care of the fireworks. But what about after the coronation? Don't you think things are going to be different? Well, since I'll be in charge of all the Canterlot Gallows from now on, I'll have to go there a lot more. So, I guess that's different, but I don't think I mind. No, of course not. Wonderful work, everyone. We couldn't be more ready. Josephine, if you and the rest of the doves leave now, we should all arrive in Canterlot at the same time. Eloise and Hubert, you should go too. I know it's a long way, but don't worry. I'll bring plenty of snacks to restore your energy before we perform. Everyone else gets to ride, since the trip's too much for your little wings. We need everyone in tip-top shape for the coronation. I'm glad we got the chance for one last rehearsal. Everyone's so excited. But I can't imagine any ponies more excited than you. Moving to Canterlot, being crowned, I can't think of a single bad thing about any of it. <laughs> Yeah, me neither. In three, two, one, and... Look, Rainbow Dash, I know this is important to you, and we all want the routine to be special, but are you sure it needs to be this complicated? Of course! And I know we can pull it off. Sorry, Twilight, I don't have time to talk. We've got a lot more work to do before the coronation. <sighs> Darling, change is an integral part of fashion. I myself am considering opening boutiques for non-ponies. Things must evolve, or they become stale. For example, I was just struck with a sudden inspiration to change my design for your gown by including the webs of these star spiders. They glow for a short while after they're spun. They won't have much time to weave the sash, but the effect will be dazzling. You see, darling, change can be fabulous if you embrace it. Starlight is supposed to come over soon. There's a little something we wanted to give you before we leave. You know what? 
I think you're right, Twilight. I should take my comics to Canterlot. We can't leave the Power Ponies behind. I don't think the Power Ponies care, Spike. Just like all of our friends. All right, Twilight. Are you ready? We all wanted to see you off, but there's still a lot to do. Aren't you coming on the train? I gotta go with Big Mac so we can go over our packing list, or we won't know who gets what deliveries. And I'm gonna meet the Wonderbolt so we can go over the routine one last time. I'm going with Gummy. He said he knows when the fireworks display should start, but does any pony really believe that? And I still need to pick up food for the swans and doves who flew ahead to Canterlot. If I don't get them fed, they'll be too pooped to perform. Well, I'll be living in Canterlot alone. Might as well take the train alone, too. Bye, I guess. Oh, you won't be traveling alone, darling. I'll have just enough time on the train to weave the stuff spider sash for your gown. But we should leave now. There's no time to dawdle if you want the coronation to be perfect. That's the problem. You're all so worried about making my coronation perfect that I'm leaving Ponyville and none of you even care. <gasps> Exactly. You moved away, your friends didn't care, and that was that. Actually, not exactly. Of course we care that you're moving, Twilight. I can't believe you think we don't. What could possibly make you think that? I tried to talk to you all about how I was feeling, but you seemed more worried about what you had to do for the coronation. It's true. I was there. I suppose it gave us something else to focus on. I knew you were worried about everything changing. I guess I thought if I made it seem like everything was okay, it would be. I was just trying to make you feel better. That way I wouldn't feel so terrible. Before I moved to Ponyville, I didn't really know what friendship was. You've all taught me so much. I can't believe it all might be ending. But when I imagine the future, all I can think about is that we won't be together. I'm literally moving away from you and it's terrifying. I'm scared too. Me too. Rattled to the car. Yep. I wouldn't say scared. But just because I won't say it doesn't mean I don't feel it. I'm going to miss you so much. I just can't stop thinking about how much things are going to change. What, what if we don't see each other? What if we don't talk as much? What if we don't stay friends? <laughs> I know it's weird, but knowing you're all as upset as I am actually makes me less worried. That's nice, but you should be more worried about missing the train to Canterlot! Sorry I'm so late. I actually thought I'd missed you. There's no time! Oh no, we missed it! But maybe... Okay, we're on the train. Everything should be fine, right? I'd worked out exactly how much time I needed to weave my star spider sash, and now I'm behind! I hope Big Mac can figure out who gets what deliveries on his own. I assume these contain the finest sparkling apple juice? <clears throat> yep. Oh, the sweet apple egg is applesauce for my coronation parfait! This is the applesauce. Uh, yep. I don't have the snacks the doves and swans will need to perform after their long flight. I'd better find the food car. And I need to meet the Wonderbolts! Where's the coronation team? Well, they, they waited, but when you didn't show, they thought you must have meant to meet outside a candlelight. The only thing I'm worried about is Gummy handling the fireworks display. Sure, it's fine. <laughs> well, it could always be worse. Goodness, Twilight, are you all right? My friends and I had a few hiccups on the way, but everything's fine now. We really are both just so proud of you. If you need a moment, that's all right. It is your coronation. Although, it would be nice to get started. Are you ready? No! She can't possibly be crowned without her coronation gown! Very well. Citizens of Equestria and beyond. My 
sister and I have ruled this land for quite some time. But even we know that change eventually comes to us all. And though we know it can be unsettling, it's as natural as the rising and setting of the sun and the moon. Both of which my sister and I feel confident, leaving in the holes of the past. You look amazing. Oh, I almost forgot. And so, without further ado, I give you the new ruler of Equestria, Princess Twilight Sparkle. <gasps> Sorry. Oh dear, I know these aren't the snacks I promised, but it's all I could find. Well, dash or no dash, Twilight's about to get that crown. Wonderful, roll out! No, wait! Close enough. Um, okay, I get it now. Your coronation was such a disaster that you and your friends never really recovered, and that's why you all drifted apart. Well, you're half right. So, the coronation wasn't a disaster, and your friendships just faded away over time? Not exactly. <sighs> Sorry I'm late, but it is so hard to find a sitter with a sense of humor for Lil' Cheese. Honestly, I would have been here sooner, but you would not believe how busy Yak Yakistan is these days. Maybe we could get to places on time if you let me do some of the chores instead of always doing everything yourself. Maybe I would if you did them the right way. Oh, <laughs> sorry. We're not the last ones, are we? Discord's headed to an O&O convention where he'd be joining us. I just assume that since you aren't together all the time now, that we aren't friends? <laughs> <laughs> That's not the point of my story. It's true my coronation was a disaster. Well, at least the coronation is over. <sighs> <laughs> that was something. I was just about to say the same thing. I know maybe it wasn't the coronation you planned, but it's good to see all of you laughing. We wanted to give this to you before you left Ponyville, but things got a little hectic. Since you're moving away, we thought if you missed any of us, or Ponyville, this might help. It's a book of memories. And we all chipped in some. No matter how much things change, you always have this to look back on. I love it. Thank you so much. But I don't want to only look back. Obviously, the coronation wasn't perfect. But that doesn't matter. It's our relationships that really count. And we have to maintain them. But now that we'll be living in different places, I'm not exactly sure how. I am. I suggest we meet once a moon. In fact, my first royal decree as ruler of Equestria is to establish this council of friendship. <laughs> and what a wonderful decree it is. We always knew that whatever adversity you faced, you and your friends would find your way through it together. We know Equestria is in the perfect hooves with you and your friends looking out for it. And while we'll always be here if you need us, it's time for us to be on our way. You're leaving? We hope you'll come and visit us in Silver Shoals. But now it's time for you to rule on your own. You're all more than capable. Thank you for everything. <laughs> so, even though everything changed, and you moved away from your friends, you didn't grow apart? And this is the Council of Friendship. 
That's what you're all doing here? Duh, this time every moon. <laughs> what she means is, this is how we've been ruling together. And how we've continued to face every problem and threat to Equestria over the years. But mostly, it's how we keep in touch. No matter how busy life gets. Sometimes friendships can be hard, and it takes work to maintain them. But without friends, things can be a lot harder. I never thought about friendship being something to work at, and I don't mind work. I guess if they don't have to fade away, maybe making friends isn't the waste of time I thought. But uh, I've been so focused on my studies, I wouldn't know where to start. That's all right, because I know exactly where to send you. When I started out, I was unsure. I thought I knew all that I needed, didn't know what to expect. But when my walls came down, I saw the truth. All along, something was missing. And I think you'll see it too. Something true